Welcome to State of Tech. Here's an iPhone 6 tip for you. I'm going to show you how to save songs for offline playback in Apple Music. Open up our music and we're going to navigate to a song, to a playlist, to an album, to an artist. It doesn't really matter. We just need to have some sort of music playing to do this. We're going to jump into my music and see this album when it was now by Atlas Genius. If I tap on that, notice the album artwork on the left hand side of the screen has a little iPhone in the top right hand corner. This means that that album is currently saved for offline playback. That means if I don't have any internet connection, I can still play this song without the need for streaming it. So it's actually taking up a little bit of storage on my device. And so you're going to want to make sure you keep track of that if you have a device that has limited storage. But if you're dealing with a device that has more storage, I wouldn't really worry about it. But you still want to kind of keep track of what you've downloaded. So what I do now is come into another album. Let's just say this Empire's one by Hillsong United. I'll tap there. In the top right hand corner below the search field, I have the heart, the share button, and that three little dots. And I have that three little dots everywhere. You're going to do a lot of things inside those little menus inside of Apple Music. When you're in an album, what you can do now is tap up here and notice that I can make available offline. It's about halfway down the menu. If I tap on that, it's actually going to start downloading the album. That little phone icon in the album artwork shows up. And if I come back into any of the menus, notice up in the top of the screen, I see downloading. If I tap there, it's going to show me the progress of all the songs that I'm currently downloading to my device. I can cancel the downloads in the bottom, and I can even pause specific downloads. If I wanted to make sure to get those songs I wanted first, I can do that. But for the most part, you should just leave that alone and let it download all the songs that it's currently doing. Now, if I was playing something, let's go ahead and come down here. We'll play another album. I'll just start playing it. What I can do is tap in the bottom right hand corner of my now playing field. Notice I can remove from my music, show in the store, share album, add to playlist. But what I can do now is tap on the album up at the top, come into the album, and I'm actually going to be able to make this available offline. I can do this in playlists as well. So I come into the playlist tab. Here I have my playlist that I've created here. Tap on the top of the album artwork like we normally do inside of an album and see that I can make available offline. And so it's going to download this entire playlist to my device so that way I can listen to this album offline. It's basically whatever single you're listening to or playlist you're listening to, you need to be in the album view mode. And then I can go ahead and start doing that. So if you're in a now playing screen, you want to tap in the bottom right hand corner come into the artist album and you'll be able to sync that album to your device or you can actually tap on an individual song and make it available offline when you're in the album view or again as we did in that playlist you can tap up there in the playlist now what I can also do is inside of my library notice where it says albums right below the recently added if I tap there I can show music available offline Tap on that switch, and it's going to show me only the music that I have available for offline playback. So that way, if I'm without connection and I don't want to see everything else, I just want to quickly jump into what's available off online, I can go ahead and tap there. Tap on the albums again. We can go ahead and switch that off, and it's going to show me all the music that's available for streaming, as well as the music that's been downloaded. So that is how you save songs for offline playback inside of Apple Music. For more iPhone tips, be sure and visit State of Tech dot net.